So we've gone over my gear, we've gone over the Warlock gear, now let's take a look at some Hunter gear with my friend Leopard Stealth, the one and only, yes, it's him, <laughs> Leopard Stealth, thank you for joining us. Uh, Leopard Stealth is also another one of my raid buddies, came with us for many, many raids, he was there for the World First, or the World Third, Crota's End, Normal Mode. <laughs> Wishful thinking. Yeah. Um, so we are going to take a look at your gear now for the Crota's End encounters, maybe some Nightfall, maybe some everyday, you know, bounties, and also PvP. So let's say we're starting with Crota's End and we're going into the Abyss. This is what you'd be using, right? Right, yeah. Typically I run Blade Dance. Uh, it is the speed Inviso uh, build for right. the Abyss. It's, uh, I guess for hard mode, it's really important to stay alive. Um, with our team, you know, we have some great warlocks that are just clearing ads all the time, so there's not really too much pressure on a hunter to do much. Uh, times right. are running the bubbles, so I don't really need to DPS that much. I need to focus on, I feel like, staying alive most of the time. If we are a little weak uh, on ad kill, I will switch to Gunslinger and um, provide some golden gun action in between lamps where uh, warlocks are not Nova bombing, help generate orbs for them. Right. But yeah, typically it's it's just this build with uh, Don't Touch Me's and Mita for speed, and then on my subclass I have uh, Long Duration Invisos. If I get punched, or if I punch, or if I decide to crouch, I stay Inviso more. Right. So this is very much the, let me make sure I stay alive build. Uh, very you run, selfish. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So the Might is there for the extra speed. Uh, you're running, looks like, pretty much full agility. The don't touch me's are there just basically as a backup, you know, in case you start to get swarmed, you go in Vizzo, no harm done. Uh, the rest of it looks just like regular uh, level 32 gear. You run Black Hammer and Hunger of Crota. These are pretty typical yeah, uh, I don't special really and use heavies. Them, yeah, I, no one really uses their, uh, their specials or heavies that much. I've recently switched over to using a heavy machine gun just because I'm afraid of using Hunger of Crota during, it's, or yeah, any rockets during during the <laughs> Abyss, especially because you have very, very limited movement. But yeah, Black Hammer is, you know, very situational in the Abyss. Maybe you can pop some shots on a knight that might be running back, but the Mida is basically there for that speed boost. So now let's move over to the bridge encounter. So we're switching over to Gunslinger. We have Fang of Ear Ute, Black Hammer, Yallerhorn, and you swap over to the Achillophage or Achillophage, and otherwise everything else yeah, is just definitely level no surprises. 32 here. Yeah, yeah, not too many here. No surprises. Fang of Viru, great weapon. Black Hammer, great for taking out boomers. Yallerhorn, we all know how good it is. Let's take a look at the subclass, where we have Incendiary Grenade, Triple Jump, Combustion, Circle of Life. Now, why do you choose to go Circle of Life? Um... I don't care about knives, really, especially during the raid. Okay. Um, so I just squeak out a little extra armor, even though that you know probably doesn't matter much at all. But I literally don't care much about knives. So, so you literally just use Circle of Life for that extra armor. <laughs> yeah, literally. That's fair play. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> throwing knives. You know, it doesn't seem like they're a one shot too much in in the hard mode. Although I, I mean, I don't, I don't play a hunter in the hard mode, or I haven't rather. Um, so I'm not 100% sure, but, you know, I, I, I guess I can kind of feel you on that. The Yeah, I mean, in the raid with getting so few kills with them, um, right. I mean, maybe some thrall, but why would I waste time when I can just, like, two-shot them or something? Right, so exactly. I'll just, I'll just squeeze out some armor, because I'm going to be using that passively the entire time. Right. And then we have Gunslinger's Trance, Chain of Woe, a uh, very basic hunter setup, probably the best combo that you can possibly get unless yeah, you're, you know, I, trying to do something I, special. I, I rarely do anything else on Gunslinger except for Gunslinger's Trance and Chain of Woe. I, I almost constantly keep those on because I feel like when you're in the zone as a hunter and you're reloading super fast and, you're, and your trance is, is stacked, your stability is perfect, you're critting left and right, you're doing your job as a hunter and just getting crit after crit after crit and reloading fast and doing your job as a, as a precision shoot class. Right. And uh, you go for the Symbiote... Um, any particular reason other than it's really good? <laughs> um, for the raid... Maybe, let's say maybe versus other options that you might have available to you. Yeah, I mean, I, I have Chest of Alpha Loopy and the, um, and the, uh, Radiant Dance Machines as well. Uh, right. for exotics. 
Uh, for no revive, Alpha Loopy um, isn't really that good. I mean, it for me, it's got the special hand cannon ammo. It's right, which is it's good. It's good, but, but I right. mean, without the revive perk, it's kind of pointless. I mean, extra golden gun shot is huge on a lot of ads, especially with an extra orb or two generation, which helps your team out indirectly moving fast not really a big deal in pve right i feel like and so now do you keep this same build for crota yes the only time i switch anything up is when i need a regen i'll switch to third man pick up an orb and regen on uh presence of crota uh but other than that it's uh i have tried switching to word of crota instead of fang mm -hmm. and I didn't hate it. Right. Uh, it felt like Thrall died a little faster, but you are limited at your range, and I'd rather be uh, more effective at range with Fang most of the time. But right. word isn't word isn't terrible. Right. Okay. And uh, you know, Black Hammer, Yellowhorn, those are very very oh, basic. Yeah. I mean, very basic. There's, there's so many so many yellow bars out there. Black yeah. Hammer is huge. If you're if you're landing crits on on your knights, it's it's night and day difference. Oh yeah. No pun intended. <laughs> uh, so let's move to now a PvP build. Now, what do you typically PvP as? A gunslinger, blade dancer, a little bit of both? No, uh, forever, I've always ran uh, gunslinger. Like, okay. No, no question. Um, so, of course, I'm running Acleophage Symbiote with four-shot golden gun since right. golden gun's the strongest super in PvP, I feel like. Yeah. Do you, um, do you change up your subclass at all? Or you basically stay the same? I do not. I used to run uh, Deadeye, which is increased golden gun accuracy, mm -hmm. but recently I've gotten really, really good, and I feel like I yeah. don't need that anymore, so I right. switched to Explosion, uh, which is my PvE, uh, or my Crota run, my raid run, my raid build. Right. The, um, you know, you get a little extra damage sometimes. You get a couple kills here and there, but I, I oh, yeah. don't miss with golden gun I've definitely been killed anymore. by combustion, yeah. So, so you still choose uh, incendiary grenade over maybe something like trip mine or swarm. How come? Um, trip mine has not been nice to me lately. Okay. I feel like a lot more people are running max armor, and so I'm not getting the kills I used to get. Okay. And I'm getting really good at placing incendiary grenades. Like in the beginning, I was so used to other games where. Um, I was expecting grenades to bounce a certain way, and it took me so long to get good at how the physics work in Destiny with these grenades that I finally am, am, am able to place grenades really well now. Right. And so I, I keep incendiary grenade up pretty much all the time. Yeah, I know one of the benefits of running one of those kind of max armor builds is that you can actually survive the trip mine grenade. It'll leave you with, like, barely any health, but you can still survive, and... That's what I really, really like about running those kind of full armor builds. It allows you to live against stuff that maybe you might normally not live against. Uh, right. But anyway... And, um, for yeah. my rockets, I just do a, um, a Radagast Fury, which is the Iron Banner rocket, and I re-rolled it until I got Pross Explosion and uh, Clown Cartridge, so I can get three in the magazine, which is nice. I run rockets because I feel like quick damage on heavies is super important if you can rush the other heavy and, and right. get a drop on them you can get all their heavy and it's it's just a huge swing in the game yeah and of course praetor's revenge i mean that's, that's probably still one of the top snipers in the game for pvp pvp top sniper i mean it final boss might be a second maybe but for me praetor's revenge is just it's it's unbelievable right for pvp and Hawkmoon, pretty obvious choice there right now sometimes I recently have been experimenting with a uh, blade dance build. I um, because I I've just done gunslinger so much. I wanted a kind of a, a change up, mm -hmm. and um, essentially everything's the same except for third man, of course, on blade right. dance. For this, I changed my subclass. Um, hold on, I changed one thing. Oh yeah, I do fast twitch on the melee instead of escape artist. Right. Uh, fast switch, of course, you can do blink strike more often. I think it's like a five-second cooldown. Yeah, right. it's and getting, really, really quick. And getting those huge lunges is crucial. Closing the gap for your melee is, is, is huge. It basically turns into a warlock uh, a warlock distance melee attack for right. all now, intents and purposes. If I wanted to really make my Blade Dancer class annoying in PvP, of course, I'm going to go um, Hungering Blade. 
because once a blade dancer starts slashing and starts getting regen, like there's just there's just like no. Oh, you don't stop them. You don't stop them. Right. I don't like to do that because, like, it's really effective, but I feel like it's it's overpowered. And I do like long inviso, so uh, when I run this build, I, I do it to be invisible. I don't do it to make my blade dance, uh, my arc blade super effective. So I, I keep with stalker on. Gotcha. So, um, so uh, like you said, you switch over to Mask of the Third Man. Uh, pretty obvious pick there, and you just stick with the raid gear. Especially now with you know Iron Banner around for the for the next week. Um, now, what about uh, you know maybe Nightfalls or just grinding strikes or grinding bounties? Any any particular changes? Um, no, I mean I'm gonna run Gunslinger for the most part because that's that's my fave. Um, right. I'll be usually running Galahorn if I'm going against any big bosses. Um, that's yeah. Symbiote. There's the, yeah, there's not much change there. All right, uh, you still run Praetheus, or what do you run in the uh, in the special? Um, it depends. You know, I hate to knock on Praetheus. Like, it is a 300 weapon. It is old school. You know, it's mm -hmm. not nearly the impact as Black Hammer. But what people don't realize is that it still stun locks, and because of how much I use it in PvP, because how little stability there is, your chance for uh, critting is for my chance at least for creating is so much higher that I can just rip out like six headshots. He, whatever I'm shooting is stun locked the entire time. And I feel like I sometimes dole out more damage with that because black hammer, while it hits super hard, you know, it's got the special refill perk. It shoots so slow. The stability is crap. The rate of fire is just like annoying. Right. So I feel like, it's easy. It's easy Less, to lose combo on Black Hammer. You know, it just takes it one is. thing for one and, and thing to go wrong. If you lose that combo, if you lose that combo, it it almost it almost negates the reason for using it. So right. yeah, against big bosses, Devil Walkers, Nexus, whatever, definitely Black Hammer, no question. But sometimes when I'm just running around in strikes or you know patrol, it's Praetor's Revenge because you know you're not you're not like going for super big damage on stationary bosses. You're just moving around quickly trying to kill stuff. Right. Um, ads for the most part. All right. And uh, last question I have. Uh, you don't have a cape. You use the oh, I... makeshift scarf. I don't, I don't have a cape? Crap. <laughs> um, yeah, it's... I like capes, don't get me wrong. But, you know, very you, few If you hunters... step on it, then you just trip and fall. And... <laughs> right, I got very it. Very few hunters look like this, and I like looking unique. Um, I'm a big fan of FWC. I like looking like a... Uh, a clown so uh i like to stand out I like to be flamboyant so oh god <laughs> i uh I, I go capeless i'm a capeless hunter and it, right. oh, if, if i go chatter white look like a stormtrooper baby yeah it matches it looks, it looks really <laughs> really good it does look really really good well that's all i wanted to cover for that um thank you very much leopard for joining us on the video and uh to all of you watching thank you very much for watching and i will see you next time